Okay, Tom, now you've heard this, um, shall we say, off-the-wall stuff. Where are you on limited government or anarchy? Well, Dennis, I, you know, for years I was one of these people. We've got to return to what the Founding Fathers thought. We've got to get back to the Tenth Amendment. We've got to return to the Constitution. And, you know, as the years go on and you see that you, you observe this government and how utterly removed it is from the government we were intended to have, after a while you start wondering, you know, look at all these think tanks sending out direct mail fundraising appeals. We've got to cut wasteful government spending, and nothing ever happens, and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. You wonder, maybe I am chasing a unicorn here. Maybe there is no such thing. Maybe if you say, this institution has a monopoly on the power to tax and a monopoly on the power to initiate violence, but it will simply restrain itself to a few it's a few itemized tasks. I mean, it seems to me unrealistic. Moreover, I, I think there's a moral question here. If we're going to believe that there are certain moral principles everybody has to observe, why are those moral principles abandoned when we apply them to government? So, for example, uh, you and I can't steal. The government can steal and call it taxation. You and I can't kidnap people. The government can kidnap people and call it military conscription. And it just goes on and on and on. If we believe in in absolute standards of morality, the government always fails. So I fall not on the bomb-throwing side of a le you know, left-wing silliness on this issue, but I, I follow uh, Murray Rothbard, and, and anybody who is intrigued by this or thinks, you know, heavens, wow, an, a forbidden thought, I, heaven forbid we can't have this on the airwaves, I would recommend going to Google and reading an essay by Rothbard called Anatomy of the State. You'll never look at the world the same way again.